Everybody, as you can see, I've put on quite a bit of extra weight during lockdown. So I'm going to show you my exercise routine to get rid of this lockdown load. I start off with some heavy lifting. Here goes. I always say it's good if you can touch your toes. Hey Lungs, um, it's so good to, yeah, just to be able to chat to you this evening. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm well and how are you? Not too bad, thanks. Uh, surviving lockdown as best we can. <laughs> uh, for those of you guys who are watching this recording, um, Lungs and I have been friends for many years. Um, Lung is a member of Rosebank. Uh, he's also a youth leader. Um, he's our longest standing youth leader, so he's been involved in the ministry for, for many years. And I just wanted to take an opportunity in this kind of youth day service uh, just to ask Lungs a couple of questions. So are you good to go, Lungs? Yeah. Cool. So I think firstly, maybe you could just briefly share with us um, how you came to know Christ. Yeah, so it was uh, through a friendship with you. Uh, we met at Danefin when um, I started my internship and you started working there in 2012. And just through that um, friendship, started going to uh, young adults on a, on a Wednesday. And they just got the opportunity to, to find out more about Christ and kind of explore what Christianity was all about. I thought at the time I was a Christian, but after spending some time with Christians, I just realized that I really wasn't. Um, and through that, um, yeah, I just remember God meeting me um, and just convicting me uh, of some sins that I, that I had in my, in my life. And for the very first time, I just felt that weight because I, I knew that what I had done, you know, wasn't pleasing to God. But I, I never really understood the cross. And for the first time, I just um, understood the weight of my sins and the death of Jesus became real to me. I understood that he, that he died for me. And yeah, that's when the lights came on and I was a born again Christian and I gave my life to Jesus. Yeah, I've heard that story many times, but it never gets old. So, yeah, thanks for sharing that. Uh, maybe secondly, um, just why, why did you get involved? Why did you decide to get involved with the youth ministry? Yeah, I think um, I quickly realized uh, after I gave my life to Christ that being a Christian wasn't just about a relationship with Jesus. It was also giving um, or serving from that relationship um, and so I've always had a passion for young people I'm a teacher and a, and a soccer coach and I just felt that God wanted an average to soccer coach. 
<laughs> you never right. see me coach. So you can't say. Um, and so yeah, I just I just felt that like use me in the youth in the youth ministry. Um, I've got a real passion of seeing people come to know Jesus, but also um, living from that place to to use their gifts to to serve Him. And I think working with with young people is a real opportunity for them to discover who they are in Christ and their calling mm. and serve them from that place. So I've just got a real passion for that. Yeah, it's awesome. It's it's evident to all of us. Um, it's really great to have you part of the team and, and just for so many years. Maybe lastly, Lungs, um, what excites you most about serving in the youth ministry and then how has body impacted you personally uh, through your time as a youth leader? Yeah, I think, like I said um, in the previous question, what excites me is just seeing God grow people, you know, them coming to know Christ um, and then Christ using them, you know, to impact other people's lives Mm. through their individual gifts, you know, um, spiritual gifts and also gifts, you know, in the world, you know, like, for example, with me, with soccer. So that really excites me, seeing God use people. Um, And how has... It impacted me personally. I think there's been a lot of things, but I think two things stand out for me. I think uh, in 2013, I started a Life on Life group with um, some of the youth guys and just seeing those guys really grow in their walk with and, you know, with a real desire to to um, to see Jesus working in their lives, mm. you know, outside of, outside of Friday nights and Sunday nights, but really seeing Jesus in their lives at school, in their social lives, um, has just been incredible that God would, would use me in that way. And also just the community. Um, obviously we've done life for a while now, you know, but also with other youth leaders, some of them have left, um, you know, the youth ministry, but I, I'm still in, in contact with them. And so that community part of it is, has also been a blessing to me, you know, and also just community with the teens as well has just been such an incredible blessing for me. So, mm. yeah, I would say that's been a huge impact for me. Mm. Oh, Lings, you're, you're an absolute gem and an asset to, um, to our youth. And, yeah, we're just so grateful to God that you've got this team and that you've continued just to serve and faith for so many years. Uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate you taking time out um, this evening. And yeah, we just really appreciate your honesty and your, your passion as you answer these questions. So um, yeah, yeah, we'll chat soon, but thanks so much, eh? Mark check, one, two, one, two. Church family, we know that many of you are struggling. We know that many of you are tired. We know that many of you are anxious. And we know many of us are doubting. But we want you to know that God is not tired. God is not anxious. God is not doubting. He's holding you. He's working for your good. We want you to remember that. Don't lose hope. 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 God got this. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope.